Um, I think I think we should get uh, into um, I guess uh, the question someone asked us was just like some dating advice. I guess was the way to way to phrase this. Um, so I guess the scenario is uh, a guy a guy is uh, dating a young lady for about two and a half years, three years, and he is looking to start his family. She is apparently focused on. Um, her career, she's a couple years younger than him. And the question is, how long should he be willing to wait for her? That's that's such a personal thing. So you're asking, so are we asking each person to answer? I mean, they're asking, yeah, they're asking for, from your perspective, I mean, obviously we can't answer for this guy, but we can definitely um, give what is that the, perspective. I like to start from the beginning and this is something that I always wondered because I just feel like a lot of couples just lack communication and that's where shit go wrong because let's go backwards. Let's rewind two and a half years. At no point during that two and a half years that y'all discuss when y'all wanted to start a family or your perception of starting a family or he had to know that his girl was a career woman and obviously he had to have some type of career. So I'm just saying, why do these conversations not be had before y'all get deep into the situation? Because what I'm saying is if he truly knew, man, I want to have a family by three years, I think more people should be definitive in what they really want and put it out there in the beginning of dating. Uh I don't think a lot of people necessarily even are sitting down with that clarity for themselves in the first place. That, you're making my point. You're not dating with purpose. Yeah, That's I mean, you have to first be. I don't think if you, but I don't think if you sat down with most people and asked them like specifically, what do you want, that they can even properly answer the question. That's the point I'm making. That's still on them not doing the internal work because what I'm saying is when you don't address that, whether that's a man or a woman. They get put on this clock that's fucked up to the person you're putting on the clock because I went into this, I went into this situation not thinking it was a clock, thinking we was flowing. So if you knew that, you should have put that on the floor before we even got deep into whatever the hell we getting into. And of I just course. think people as human beings don't do enough inner work in really asking themselves what makes them happy. And I'm going to be honest, I think a lot of humans live in the moment. Like, oh, you might want a family now, homeboy, because you, your brother, you watching your nephews grow up. But do you really want a family? Is that really what you want? Too many people live in the moment of their emotions and don't think about what constitutes a family. Okay, you, got, you want a family, brother. Are you willing to pay all the bills while this woman who's clearly making money takes maternity leave? Are you willing to subsidize whatever stoppage is going to be in her career. Like, it's a lot of shit that come with that. Just willy-nilly, I want a family. Well, nigga, somebody else's life is about to be turned upside down. Why ain't y'all discussing that? You didn't just We're wake up. You didn't wake up one day on tip like, I want a family now. So that means you skipped a lot of conversations when you could have been hitting that. What you think about us having a kid? And then she might have told you, like, huh, I ain't trying to have a kid for five years. Then I mean, that, I mean, my man didn't give us a whole lot of details. So in all I, fairness, oh, in all word. fairness, because in all that, fairness, they could have, they could have, they could have had a serious conversations. And what I mean, one one thing that I say is, um, so let me finish this because I, I my stream of thought. This is the point I'm making. This actually goes more on what Shane was just talking about. Too many people are scared because guess what? If he would have asked the woman the question directly, not concise, not being funny, and she told him, well, I don't want to have a baby until... Right? That means at that point, he's going to realize she don't want a family right now. And when he realized that, he has to make a decision. And that be the toughest part of do I walk away from somebody that I think is a great boyfriend, a girlfriend, based off my realization. A lot of people don't want the action flaw because it ain't hard to ask the question. No, the answer is what you gotta deal with. Exactly.
You know, that goes, that, I mean, that's always been the case. Though. I mean, you know, that historically goes. I mean, that's that, like, that goes back forever. Sit before the Most High, living, and they ask God, "Am I on the track to heaven or hell?" How many people really want that answer? How I mean, many? Yeah. People, I say, well, if you die today, you probably would go to hell, my, my boy. <laughs> People don't like asking oh. different questions. That's all I'm saying. It's some, and I get it because it's it's the fear of what the answer might be. And then I think it's even more the fear of how do you have to respond to Oh, that. no. It's, it's definitely like once I live, once it's confirmed that this is the world I'm living in, it's no different. It's no different than the person that don't want to go run up on their doctor because it's time to get a diagnosis. Facts, same difference. No they don't deal with the answer and they don't want to deal with the response to the answer. But I exactly. would you and your woman just got to communicate. And you should have communicated that the moment it starts churning in your belly that you wanted a family, some kids. Because then that might lead to this. Because I know a lot of men who might be okay with a kid, but not necessarily okay with getting married. Now that's going to lead to what are her expectations of you planting a seed in her? What does she want in return for that? What it's makes her? It's a lot of things to discuss. And we was it be unfair for us to say that they haven't. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to hope my man wish you the best. Definitely anybody out there who's looking for more uh, advice from, from the guys, please definitely be sure to drop it in. Um, and please give more details so that we will be able to uh, have a better understanding of your situation to be able to properly advise you. Um, what else is going on in the world? Like